probably heard of two-factor authentication, otherwise known as 2FA. 2FA is basically another layer of protection when logging into accounts. Your password would be considered the first factor of authentication, but the more that sites started getting hacked and breached and passwords were getting stolen or people are using the same recurring passwords for all their different accounts, the more passwords started to become less reliable. So what the new standard now is another layer of authentication known as 2FA. And there's different services that are able to provide 2FA tokens for your accounts when you're logging in. And the one I'm going to be showing you today is called Authy. And it's the one I've been using for a long time. I've never had any problems. It's free and it works extremely well. And what I also like about it is it has a cloud backup. So you can use it whether you're on your computer or your phone or any other device you have. And it all gets synced to their uh, cloud backup just in case. And it's especially useful if you happen to lose a device because you'll be able to access uh, it on your other devices and you won't lose all of your 2FA tokens. So what is Authy and how do you use it? So basically any site you use online should have 2FA option. If it doesn't, you need to contact the creator of the website you're using or the service you're using and tell them that, look, I need my account to be more secure. Please add 2FA. But whether you're on Twitter, Facebook, Amazon, any account you use online, you can add another layer of security by going into that account settings, going to your security settings and adding a 2FA option. So in the most basic sense, what it does is after you sign into your account with your password, it will then move on to the second layer of protection and ask you for a code, usually a six digit code. And once you enter that code, which you can either receive from another device or the same device you're on by going to, in this case, Authy, the app, they have a Chrome extension or an actual app that you can download, whether you're on your phone or your computer, you would go to the app. From there, it, it will have sent a code to the app and you can enter that code into the website. So in the most basic sense of thinking about things, it's basically like a second password, but it's more protection to add to your account. So even if somebody has your password, once they get to the token screen, there won't be any way for them to receive that token unless they have access to Authy in this case. So Authy is definitely one of the most popular 2FA services and it's the one I use, which is why I want to showcase it today. But their website is a great place for you to go to if you want to learn more. I always make these videos and get a lot of questions, almost like I turn into a customer service assistant in the comments below or my Twitter DMs or wherever it is, which I don't mind helping people. But before you ask me for help, you might want to go over to the help you know, FAQ support section of their website and they have tons of articles and questions that have been asked of them. If you just want to dive deeper and get a better idea of what this is, how it all works, usually the support section of any website or service you're trying to learn more about is a great place to start. But if you go through here, you have more questions, definitely drop them below. I usually respond within um, the same day. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it actually looks like. So for example, I'm going to set up two-step verification on my email account, which I have not done yet. So I went into my password and security section of my settings for my account, and I'm going to go ahead and click set up two-step verification. So there's different ways of adding 2FA to an account. The one I'm going to be showing you today is the most simple method, which is using an authenticator app. In this case, the app I'm showing you will be Authy. This is an app you can download, as I've said, on your phone or your computer or another device. If you want to take it a step further, there's actual USB device. They look like flash drives and you can actually plug that into your computer or your phone and it will actually be able to authenticate your accounts only when that is plugged in. So that's that's an even further level of security if you want to take it that far. I won't be showing you that today, so I'll be I'll be clicking set up authenticator app. Most of the time, there will be a barcode that you can simply go to your phone, for example. I have my phone right here. I'll open my Authy app and I'm inside my Authy app right now. And if I go all the way to the bottom, I can click add account. And as you can see, it's going to show me an option to scan a QR code. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I can simply go to the barcode on my computer screen. And now it knows to add a fast mail account. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I'll click save. And now this would be my token. So to make sure it worked properly, I'll enter the token that's on here. Click save. And now I have 2FA 
on my Fastmail account and it's really that easy. So next time I'm logging into my Fastmail account, whether I'm on a different device or it just needs to make sure it's me, it will ask me for the code and I'll be able to go to my app, whether I'm on my computer or my phone and enter the token into Fastmail from there. So if you don't want to use your phone, for example, I'm on my computer, I might not want to mess with my phone. I can simply download the browser extension. As you can see, you see the Authy icon up here because I already have it downloaded. But if you don't, so in the Chrome Web Store, if I search Authy, you can see there's official Authy Chrome extension. I'll add that and you saw the icon pop up here on the top right. So it's been added to Brave. If I click it, I've already previously had this installed, so it's already asking me for my master password. But if this is your first time, it will most likely ask you to enter your phone number and it will authenticate you that way. And it'll have you create your own master password. And your master password is, is a password you're going to want to make sure you don't forget. And um, it's difficult enough to not be easy to guess, but easy enough for you to remember and not forget. So I'll type in my master password, unlock my Authy account. And as you can see, here's all of my token logins that I can add. So if I am logging into Fastmail, for example, I could get my token this way, click copy, and then paste it when I'm logging into Fastmail. So I can either receive the code from my phone or to make it easier on myself from my actual, the same browser I'm using. So that is how to use 2FA in a nutshell, how to make it really easy. You can use it on your phone, your computer, all of your main devices has a way for you to authenticate your accounts. It doesn't take a whole lot of extra time and it'll keep you secure in any sort of events of a data breach or a hack or anything like that. So if you have any questions at all, leave a comment below, check out the support page on Authy.com and try it out for yourself. It's a great way to keep your accounts more secure than they would be otherwise. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. I have a handful of other videos I'm going to be making and have made in the past that can help you be safer and enjoy the internet more. So until next time, thank you.